Hi everyone, in this video I will be testing and reviewing the Vista air fryer oven. Recently I was given this air fryer and toaster oven to review for you and give you my personal experience with the product. This air fryer oven comes with a baking pan, air fryer basket, oven rack and tray slash rack handle to help with the different functions the oven provides. As you can see it's pretty spacious inside, it is a 19 quart oven so you will be able to fit more food into it. It can bake, air fry, air roast, toast and broil which is one of the things that I really loved about this oven. You can use it to cook or bake different foods which is what I did to test each different setting. To test the air fryer I made several different types of potatoes. I cut them into wedges and into small cubes to see how well the air fryer cooks them and if they would be crispy on the outside. I was very pleasantly surprised with the time it takes to cook the potatoes through. I had the temperature at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and they were thoroughly cooked in 10 to 15 minutes. They also did become crispy. For the first batch of potatoes, I used about a tablespoon of olive oil and the potatoes remained crispy when I removed them from the air fryer. However, the ones I made without oil were crispy when I took them out, yet they lost the crispiness soon after. Besides the vegetables, I also cooked some chicken and shrimp in the air roast and broil settings. The shrimp cooked very quickly on broil, it only took 5 minutes and they were well cooked. The chicken took about 20 minutes to cook in the air roast setting. I was able to fit two large chicken breasts in the baking pan. I could have fit a third but I didn't want to crowd the pan too much. Overall the chicken was thoroughly cooked through and not dry. The toast function was one of my favorites. I made some garlic bread to test it and it came out perfectly. Very crunchy and crisp on the outside with perfectly melted butter. I personally like the bread in the center to be soft so I left it about 7 minutes but it can toast the bread completely without burning it. One of the problems I encountered with the oven is adjusting the temperature in the baking setting. The instruction manual says the temperature should be lower 10 to 15 degrees Celsius which is about 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit when baking cakes, pies, cookies and bread. For my first batch of cookies I made some almond flour spice cookies and I lowered the temperature from 350 degrees Fahrenheit to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. These cookies usually take 15 minutes to bake so I started watching them earlier than that time. However, that didn't really help, they still burned pretty quickly and they were still too soft in the center. I then went back and baked another batch, this time at 200 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. This time they didn't burn as badly as before but they were still a bit undercooked and half burnt. Also the pizza I made from scratch suffered because of the instructions. As you could see the top and bottom rack positions are labeled as position 1. Unfortunately, it leaves you wondering which position to place the trays at later in the instruction manual when it is explaining what foods cook best in each position. For example, it specifically tells you what settings to use when baking a pizza and to use position 1. I followed the instructions and lowered the temperature as well, however my pizza was also burnt. I did also bake a small mug cake in a ramekin bowl. For this one I lowered the temperature from 350 degrees Fahrenheit to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and baked it for 15 minutes. Thankfully this one came out well, it didn't burn and it was cooked through. So I think the oven can bake things well but you just have to figure out which temperature suits what type of food. Overall I really liked cooking with the air fryer toaster oven, specifically because it has many functions and can cook different types of food. It does take a bit of getting used to especially with the temperature settings like I mentioned before, but I think it's something that can be learned and fixed as you use it more. If you would like to learn more about the Wista air fryer toaster oven, I will be leaving the links in the description box along with a 10% off discount code valid December 1st through December 31st. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more.